I, this is Anne again with what I hope is going to be a really super quick anagram on uh, the nature of value returning functions, calling functions multiple times, and in particular, what's really going on in the assignment, um, in an assignment statement. So um, this is the uh, make phrase, phrasematic assignment from this week's head first JavaScript. And most people don't have much trouble getting um, the, the core of this code typed in. Um, after all, you're just typing what's in the, in the book, although frankly, that's pretty complicated code. And um, I don't see people having a lot of trouble wrapping that code in a function that takes no parameter. Um, some folks have a little trouble figuring out the directions for uh, converting the alert statement at the bottom to a return statement, but frankly, most people get that also. So this is not what I really want to focus on, even though I would have said as an instructor, that's the complicated part. Um, what I see people having trouble with consistently is, um, is the instructions for calling make phrase three times and logging it. And um, before I started teaching this, I would never have predicted that to be a problem. And I think that's why it's taken me a while to figure out um, what the confusion is and how to explain it. So let me just run this file. And I'm going to pull this up here to the top um, half of this window. I'm going to right click on it and split the pane in two columns. And then we can see um, the output on one side and the code on the other. And if I run this um, several times, we should be seeing a different uh, slogan come out each time. So each time we're pulling one word from here, one word from there, one word from there, and it's supposedly random. So that's fine. Um, what I see people having trouble with is the next part of this assignment where I tell them to call make phrase again. Yes, I can type on a Saturday morning, but not very well, and to log the output. And this is what I consistently see people doing is literally calling make phrase again and logging slogan again. So let me run that and show you what happens. Now, what happens is you're getting the same value of slogan each time. And it's always been hard for me to figure out why that's confusing, but I think I finally figured it out. I think people assume somehow, and, and actually it's not an unnatural assumption, that when you assign slogan to make phrase, you are somehow establishing a connection or a window. So you so if you if you say this that you are assigning slogan to make phrase, then it's really easy to think that slogan is kind of a window into this line of the make phrase function. And um, and if you call make phrase again, you would expect slogan to show you the second result and not the first. So I think it's really important to talk about the nature of the assignment statement because you need to read it backwards. This doesn't assign slogan to make phrase. It assigns the result of make phrase to slogan. And in the um, analogy that the book uses, which is not perfect in my opinion, but let's go with it. What happens here is it's kind of like make phrase is a can of, you know, is a uh, soda fountain. And when you call it, it fills up slogan with a particular soda. So call it Coke. Okay. And then if you console log it, think of it as as drinking slogan and seeing what the, you know, or at least tasting slogan and seeing what the, what the contents of slogan is right now. So the next time you call make phrase, you have to assign its result to slogan again. So it's sort of like you, you sip the Coke here and now you want to see what the, um, what the next call to the random soda fountain is going to do for you. And then you have to take the result of that 
assign it into slogan. So you pour the next drink in there and the next time it's Dr. Pepper. So let me just run this much code. And you can see that each time you call make phrase, as you would expect from this code up here, you're actually getting a different value. But the only way you can see that is if each time you call make phrase, you assign the result of that particular call of make phrase to slogan. And then of course, you can do that same thing as many times as you like. And each time, barring some um, statistically unusual event, you should get a different phrase. Hope that helps.